in these videos you will learn how to solve first order and second order differential equations but let's begin by identifying ordinary differential equations in differentiation if i'm given a function of this to find the derivative my first derivative which is the same thing as dy dx will be equal to 8x to the power of 3 plus 15x to the power of 2 plus 6 minus exponential x plus cos x. This is a first order differential equation of the first degree. If I differentiate this again the second time, it's going to be the square y over the x square, which is 24x to the power of 2 plus 30x. This is now plus 0 minus exponential x minus sine x. This is a second order differential equation of the first degree. The first order differential equation, the highest power is 1. And in the second order differential equation, the highest power is 2. These are problems of ordinary differential equations. Each is ordinary differential equation of the first degree. Hence, each of them are first order linear differential equation because the highest power is 1. In the identification of second order differential equation, you can see that the highest power is 2. This is a second order differential equation. Even though we have a power of 1 here, the name of the differential equation is the value of the highest power of the derivative. This is a third order ordinary differential equation because the highest power here is 3 even though we got 2 here. This is a fourth order ordinary differential equation because the highest power here is 4. In writing differential equation, if here is 2, here will also be 2. If here is 3, here will also be 3. If here is 4, here will also be 4. Both must be the same value. Both at the numerator and at the denominator. And the order is always sandwiched between D and Y. But for the X is on the outside. This is a second order ordinary differential equation of the third degree. And this is a first order differential equation of the second degree. Though there is a 2 here, yet this is a third order differential equation because the highest power here is 3. If you are given a problem of ordinary differential equation to solve, it's your responsibility to understand which method to use and there are four different methods we are going to use in solving first order differential equation. One of them is direct integration. Another one is variable separable. Then exact solution. Then integrating factor. It's important you know how to use each of them effectively. In some problems, direct integration will be fine. While in some problems, it cannot go, then we try variable separable. If variable separable is not possible, then we try exact. If exact is not possible, then we try integrating factor. Methods of solving second order differential equation. In second order differential equation, we have homogeneous and non-homogeneous differential equation. 
and we're going to look at how to solve each of them in another video series. We see you in the next video.